Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sage One Accounting webinar. The topic that will be handled in this webinar is recurring invoices. First and utmost I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend today's webinar. My name is Tisneem and I'll be taking you through. You may have a client that rents office space from you and has signed a six month lease. You know in this scenario that a tax invoice for the same amount and date would need to be created every single month. Under your customer menu Transactions, you can create customer recurring invoices. Select the Add Recurring Invoice option. In the following window, from the drop down box, select the customer you wish to process to, add all necessary information, and with regards to your start date, zoom in to the correct start date. In this scenario, with rent, this would be every month, and your end date, the end of your lease. Once you have done so, you also have the option of how to distribute this particular statement as well as a due date for payment, how many days from or to a particular date and how to create the actual invoice as a draft or automatically. If you choose automatically, the tax invoice will be populated on the correct date every month. As a draft, you would then have the option to choose whether to accept it being selected or not. If you've selected it as a draft, in your selection window with regards to your item and accounts being general ledger accounts, you also have the option to choose inclusive amounts or exclusive prices. In the scenario of our rent income, I would need to choose a general ledger account and from my drop down box rent income. I would then need to add the correct price and once I've done so, I can then select save. When creating a recurring invoice as a draft it will appear in the following window. We have reached the end of this webinar and I do hope a lot was taken in. Please feel free to join me on another future webinar.